Hey, this is Taylor. I'm sorry that it's been a while, but my life has been pretty hectic lately. In fact, I just got home. <laughs> um, just a quick rundown of what's been happening. Uh, Ty's been back in the hospital. Uh, he came back for a few days, but he's uh, back in now. And um, hopefully this is the last time. Uh, yeah. In this video, I'm going to sort of cover two topics that we, that I've <laughs> missed. Um, the first one is fundraising. So, with fundraising, uh, sorry, I'm scattered. It's been a long day. Um, with fundraising, what we've been doing is Tyler's just been saving up all of his paychecks, and, um, I've attempted to, uh, I, I'm still in the process of getting just, I go to a drive through coffee place every morning, and we're in the process of getting me to just sell muffins or cookies or something in the drive through window, so I get money from that. I sell art on the streets, and planning on putting all of the money that I get from that into surgery. And that's what I can say about that. <laughs> and then passing. I don't really know what I think about the word passing because if you're cis, say you're a cis woman, do you pass as a woman? I don't know. That's just how I think of it. But if you go by the word, then say binders. Binders are definitely a boy's best friend and uh i'd say go for black because i know they have black white skin toned different colors i'd say go with black because um it doesn't get dirty that easily you don't really have to worry about staining um make sure not to put it in the dryer that'll ruin it if it gets wet uh it wash it immediately and uh, hang it up. It does like if you have swimming in it or something. Because that's what Tyler does. Um, it's funny, I was just thinking, like, get a really short haircut, but that's what I got, and I'm not trying to pass as a man. Um, there's a quote somewhere that's somewhat like, dress for what you want to be, and I know that when you're trans, it's not that you want to be a boy necessarily, because that's what you are, but, <laughs> say, baggy jeans, baggy t-shirt, maybe some button-ups, um, I don't know, in my town, a lot of girls dress like guys. So, uh, not depending on where you are, just dress more masculine, I guess. Um, oh, and then I missed one that was labels. Just catching up on all of these. Labels. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with labels. Like, I don't like it when other people label me, because that makes me uncomfortable because I define who I am. But at the same time, I enjoy labeling myself so that I have something to associate with. Like, my labels are, um, girl, Taylor, uh, hero. I have a weird thing about the word hero. Uh, lifelong thing discussed it many times in counseling. I have a weird thing with the word hero, but I label myself with the word hero. Uh, feel free to send me a message or something if you're interested in that backstory. Um, I think I'm actually going to post that on my personal channel. I don't think I can plug that here, though. Um, yeah, I don't really have any sexuality labels, necessarily. Like, 
I say that I'm pansexual, I say that I'm demisexual, but none of those words really fit with me. They never really settled right. I'm still trying to find the right word. Like, I don't know. I just haven't found one yet. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for not posting. Hopefully I'll be back for good now. Hopefully things are getting better. I hope this is the last time he goes in. Thanks so much, sweethearts. Have a great day.